Hello, Hello. we are Tavon and Hello, David everybody. from TD Adventures. In today's video, we are taking you along with us to visit and explore Quivy Ranch in Ulrich, South Dakota. Quivy Ranch is a cattle ranch and a harvest host. Dennis is the owner. We Dennis read in the review yeah. that Dennis this and his dogs it, will wait for you when arriving at his ranch. Folks, well, it is true. Well, look at you. You are so happy to see us. Dennis said to come over to the barn after we get ourselves settled. It's a little chilly. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of getting that time of year again, yeah. you know. Giddy. Well, how long have you been doing harvest holes? Uh, this is my second year. Wow. Nice, but, yeah. No, it's, been, uh, it's been fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. enjoy it. Yeah. Maybe people all over the country. Yeah. yeah. So just oh, she, just... she just get excited. Yeah, well, tell good. us about what happened to her leg. Oh, well, she chased a rabbit under my tractor when I was cutting hay here a few years ago, and I ran up on her shoulder before I stopped. <sighs> and, uh, oh, so it kind of ruined her, ruined her shoulder enough I had to take the leg off. Mm. So she's 13, so she'll be 14 in the spring, so she's mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you like the water? Or no. Oh, like no, we... Whatever you like. Whoa, oh, dear. Yeah. I'll take a beer. Well, I got Bud Light, Budweiser. Um, let me see what I got in here. Would you like something? No, I'm good. Thank you. I, I had my. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, cat, you have short lifespan here, cause yeah, coyote. Uh, sorry about that. Well, me too. I wish they took around. Right? Mm. I'm not necessarily a cat person, but I hate mice, so mm -hmm. and they do keep the mice at bay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What keep you busy here? What? Uh... Well, I have about 130, 135 cows, mm -hmm. beef cows. We can go out and look at them if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I'm shipping. I'm shipping my calves. Oh, Selling really? on Friday. Mm. Selling the cows? You mean? Just the calves. Just the babies. The baby. They were oh. born last spring. They're not really babies. Anymore. How long ago did you move here? Um, <clears throat> I made, came here in 08. 2008. I, I, I told you I was. A, I told you I was a banker, loan you... officer for 20 years. Loan officer for 20 years. Yep. Yeah, that's what you said, yeah? And then I came here in 08. My dad bought the place in 76. 2008? Yes. And he bought, your dad bought it when? 76. 1976? Yep. Oh, so you're taking over after your, for your dad then? I did, yep. <clears throat> oh. So. I uh, see. Technically second generation. A lot of these guys around here are like fourth, third, fourth, and fifth generation ranchers. Okay. Do you have anybody to... T no, to boys do aren't, my boys you? aren't interested, so they're not interested. I'll be the last. They might, they might keep the land and rent it. Oh, okay. But yeah. They don't want to be ranchers, and that's fine. They got to do what they want to do. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Dennis was so nice to invite us to stay another day to see the calf roundup. He is going to give us a tour of his ranch with his blue pickup truck. This turtle that just showed up out of nowhere is coming with us to be released in the field. Kind of small. Uh huh. So all right here, I have what we call a quarter section of land. That's 160 acres. Okay. So it's half mile, half mile square. So half mile is kind of kind of the top of the hill up there. Those bales stacked up. Those are not mine, but that's the corner that goes half mile that way. That's my horses and bulls out here. Okay. And then half mile that way. So I got a hay field and pasture. This still where the trees are. When I usually when I when I uh, wean my calves, you know, I put them here and I feed them till January in most years, and then uh, <laughs> before the first of March, I start calving. I will bring the cows here and they'll calve out right there, mm -hmm. so they're kind of close to the buildings. But this is unique in that it's, you know, this quarter sets by itself. The rest of my land is further, a little mm -hmm. bit west here. These bales are mine, but these bales aren't. Mm -hmm. so. What kind of material do they wrap the bale with? It's called net wrap. It's a plastic. Oh, okay. But <coughs> there's also, that's net wrap. You can also put a twine around it, which is a single string that goes around and holds it. Just holds it together till you feed it. Mm -hmm. Or trans, you know, if you need to transport it. I just gave them, I'm all my lands on the south side of the road. On this left side. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start here. Look at that. They love riding in the back, right? Oh, they do. Oh, man. It's living. That's the life. <laughs> right there.
this is where I <coughs> store all my hay until mm -hmm. uh, it's dead in the winter time. This is for the cow, right? This is for the cows. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, so then I start here. I go a half mile south. So that mm -hmm. plowed up field over there, that's mine. Mm -hmm. But those cows you see on the hill, those are not. What do you grow where you plow it? I'll, I'll put oats in that. I'll grow oats there next year, and that's what I feed the calves and the horses. Mm -hmm. Down here, under this, I call this the creek again, but um, this is where the cows winter. So when you come by first of December, you can see those are my cows on top of the hill over there. Oh, wow. So first of December, I'll move them down here. And so this is the only production they'll have for the winter is, uh, is this here. Um, the cows stay warm basically by what you feed them, um, mm -hmm. you know, the protein and, and that kind of stuff. That's what really keeps them warm. So, I mm -hmm. mean, they, it's nice to get out of the wind and stuff, but they can handle a lot of, a lot of that as long as they, their bellies are full, so to speak. Mm -hmm. so, no. and can you clear this uh, whiteboard, Dennis? So, and, <laughs> you don't so like can, my dirty window? Um, I, I like it. It, it gives it character. Let but... Let's see if we can make it better. I don't know if we can make it better or not. There you go. <laughs> Change it. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. This old house over here on the back side is actually an old two-room log cabin. It's kind of still sandy. So, how many acres were that? Where we were? That was 160. And then here. this is actually 160 here, and then another 320, and more further west. So, how many total? I have 2,000 total. Do you remember? I always tell people that's small here. Most people are small. going to be five to ten thousand acre ranches mm. in this in this area. Now, one of the things out here is really key, as you might guess, is water. Yeah. Um, there's a few wells, not very many good ones. The water is not very good quality. Actually, mm. we have a rural water system, so I buy all my water for the cows and everything, mm. just like you guys do in town. No. Okay. Oh, really? So, like my water bill runs probably two fifty to. Four hundred dollars a month. Wow! Year round. Cow wow. drink uh, twenty gallons of water a day or more on a hot summer day. Yeah. In the winter time, it's more like ten. That's for all the cows. That each cow. Each. each cow. Cow. Whoa, that's a lot. It's huh? a lot of water, yeah. Wow! Thank you so much for you. You drive everybody around that come I visit. To. I try to if they want to. Wow! I met a couple that didn't want to, and that was fine. Yeah. Um, but no, most of them do. I like to show them what we do out here. Yeah, I, this I look, is. I, I think the value of what I do is educating people. Yeah. Well, yeah, you are, because we. This is our first time ever getting a pickup fry <laughs> in a ranch, right? Yeah. We made it to the area where the calf roundup will take place. So you have people coming over yep. to help. Yeah, I got four other guys coming today. They are other ranchers. Yep, other ranchers. I let my cooler cooler full of beer, you know, for my help. <laughs> and, That's right. Uh, yeah. Some water and some Gatorade for people that don't want a beer. Yeah. So we don't pay each other. We just everybody just you provide something to drink. First rancher shows up to help. Second rancher shows up with his four wheeler. And how are you gonna push them this side? Just with my four wheeler. Oh, you mean oh your four wheeler? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I guess a mechanical horse, I guess you could say. <laughs> so. Dennis took off with his four-wheeler to round up the cows. Second four-wheeler taking off. A neighbor with a horse is setting out. He came back for the red flag. How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Here she goes. I had to come inside because it was so dusty. Uh, get in there. Yes, get in there. Closing the gate. We are moving closer. for separating the mom What's the that? baby from the mom because well we need the baby so basically so the mom can can get ready to have a new baby because she's pregnant and yeah. she's going to have another baby in the spring so she's got to be able to get her body you know be able to 
take care of the body, the baby in her body instead of the one outside. Oh, you mean the mom is already pregnant? Yeah, she was bred this summer. Oh, so, so she's, she's only it's pregnant. Not, it's nine month break. Nine month is a gestation. Oh, okay. Of a cow, so she gets bred. Then, like like people, nine months later, she's gonna have a baby, and so uh, she needs to be able to put put nutrients for that baby on the inside of her. Mm -hmm. So the one on the outside's gotta gotta be done. Oh, that that's what so, that's what we, when we did the separation. Yep, that's yeah. why we that's what we call it's called weaning them. So the mom was pregnant and also nursing at the same time. Yeah, every year their job is to raise a calf every year. Wow. And if they don't do that, they probably go to town. Mm, so, yeah. And then we call that calling. It's C U L L call. Yeah. You call out the herd. You call the cow if she's not producing, or she doesn't. If she gives me a poor calf a couple years in a row. She'll go to town. Um, and that there's other things like when you mean go to town well sell her for um basically she'll probably go to butcher okay she has an appointment a, not a doctor appointment no no not a doctor <laughs> they do i have taken to the vet once in a while oh okay but normally when i say go to town that means go to market and yeah be sold i see so and that's why i keep the the replacement heifers mm -hmm. i got new ones to replace the ones that i have to get rid of i see yeah so does that make sense? Yes, now it all makes sense. Oh, I'm not sure all of it does, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You already have calves in there? What's that? You have any? No, they wouldn't go in. Oh, okay. So, so was, normally I load out where that chute set up. Yeah. yeah. But the chute set up for a semi. And this is a And that's not a semi. Yeah, yeah. So we're, uh, we thought maybe we could run them in that way, but that didn't work. No. So, so now uh, you're going to a plan B? We're just going to wait till the semi's done and move that stuff out of the way and load them like we normally would. Oh, okay. Here comes the semi truck. Time to load up. What the inside of the semi looks like. Wow, we did not know there are two levels in the semi truck. I think it had two stories, huh? That's yep. so cool. <laughs> yeah. Upper deck and lower deck. Yeah, wow, you can fit a lot in there. Yeah. How many calves all together? Calves? Yeah, how many that are going away? Uh, I should, there should be, my count's right, there should be 83 that I'm loading and Marshall brought seven. He, he's got uh, mostly black, he's, he's, he has a Hereford bull and he's got mostly black cows, but he got a few Hereford cows and they threw Hereford calves. So if you sell just a little bunch, you don't get, you, they dock you pretty hard. So if he just throws them as line, they do a little better. Oh, okay. So, so there should be right at 90 head we're sending it. And I have no control what the price is going to be. Yeah. I have no idea what exactly what I'm going to get. I only know because I know what current sales are doing right now. Yeah. But I never know from one year to the next exactly what I'm going to make. So it's kind of hard to run an operation that way. I would think so. But every every farm and ranch does it that way. Right. You sell per pound? Yep, we sell per pound. How many pounds for each? Uh... How much do they weigh? Yeah. yeah. For each be, one. They're going to they're gonna average between five and... 600 pounds, there'll be a few lighter ones in there, but some we're not reading. Each, so, each one five or 600 pounds? Yeah. Wow. So I, hopefully I'm going to average somewhere between $1,000 and $100 a calf. A calf. Okay. And I get to take home. So today you got 80? So I should get 80000 Okay. That's my big paycheck. That's for the year. I got to pay off my operating loan. I got to make my payments. Yeah, yeah. And when it's all done, I'm lucky if something's left over. Right. Honestly, yeah. the last the last five years have been really short. I've yeah. stolen from my retirement. My retirement's about gone, but ooh, yeah. the ranch is still going. Yeah, yeah. So I have the ranch. I'm not worried about my little bit of my retirement. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I have this. Mm -hmm. I still have an investment. Yes, sir. Right, so yeah. It's not like and then there was another car that out completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, uh, since I've not been here, I think my dad had it when I took her to his place. He had 1,240 acres and I bought 600 acres. I've added to it. My son, <coughs> Seth, bought a quarter, so that's that's how we got up to 2,000 acres. He actually has one quarter of it. They technically run for him. Mm -hmm. so, he doesn't want a ranch, but he likes the investment in that. Yeah. The tax deductions go along with having yeah, agriculture. Yeah. A lot yeah. of deductions. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, we'll see you at the house. We'll wait for everybody to go. Tim is closing up the gate. The vehicle out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so we shall. Yeah. Wow, what an experience we have. All because of Harvest Host. And Dennis. And it's oh, him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's very uh, a welcoming Harvest Host. Yeah. And, uh, and all the crew, they're all very friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're running. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, thanks for coming. We love, we love having you. You're the best. Oh. Well, uh, I enjoy it. Yeah. It, was a, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Thank very you educational. Very much. Yeah. So you guys, like I said, stay as long as you want today. I will. So we'll see how much money I make on Friday. See if I can go another year. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis is off to see about the cows. Goodbye. Bye, Bye Dennis. See you next time.